Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. I have to take advanced mobile application and download it. I'll share this video with you, uh, Prasad. You can send it to all. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Who's this? Because everybody can Who's see and do it on their own at home if they yeah, want to. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a great idea, actually. What you can do is you can uh, send me on the same mail, right? Yeah, prasad.h2kinfo.gmail.com. Correct, correct, correct. Yes, yes, yes. Because so that what I will do is I will put in the same whatever that uh, yesterday we put the PPT site. Right? Right. We will put same so that it will be useful for everyone. Yeah, because they can see, look at it and do it on their own. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's true. Now, right here, right, what we are doing, we are doing 4.2. Say, for example, uh, if you want to have like other, uh, uh, what do you call, versions, other packages, simply select it. That's it. Select it install packages it will take some time right but you can install each and everything what is the intention here is right if you want to imitate any real device you can install that particular kind of uh, particular uh, package and then you can uh, right use it So now I'll be able to open each one of them and write test cases. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's okay now. It's already, that's okay. We'll, let's, let's complete this. Are you taking another class tomorrow? Or no, 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 no. Yeah, actually, right, even uh, I'm supposed to finish by like, right, half an hour before only, but still, right, we're running behind the schedule. It's a new topic and that, everybody huh? is interested, Prasad. In one way, you know, if we help everybody, <laughs> they will understand, they will yeah, enroll. That's right? true. Like, that's what I, uh, that's the reason, like, what I'm doing is that I'm spending some extra time. Let's finish right. this. Mr. Rao will be very happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Prasad, we will write good reviews. Because yeah, yeah, actually, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the best. We have a lot of patience. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Prasad, uh, can you please show us the test cases, at least like one execution in the emulator? Yeah, that's what, right? Uh, once it is installed, then uh, we will uh, first forget about your test cases. First, we need to understand how to install app. Uh, that is important. Okay. Right? Uh, testing, right? Anyone can do, but uh, configuration only a problem. Right? Mm -hmm. Just imagine that, right? If I'm giving you a requirement, right? I will say that logging should work for. Uh, Valid users, login should not work for like invalid users. If I'm giving requirement, anyone can do. Yes. But you should know this uh, basics. With this yes. basics, right, what you can do is uh, really right. Uh, you can go with advanced, right? I always uh, rely on the basics, whatever may be like, right? Whether it is QTP, yes. Selenium, right, uh, mobile application testing, anything. I will always rely on the basics. Yeah, fundamental. But uh, from now on, they have to provide this kind of series for, you know, QC installation or whatever. People can understand them and do it. Vamsi sometimes does it, sometimes he has more time. So if they provide a CD, we can watch it online and do it on our own. I feel this helps a lot. Okay, okay. okay it's done. Yeah. Looks like it's done. No. A little bit more. Mm. I'm going to suggest Mr. Rao. 
<laughs> then there won't be a, no one will be taking advanced classes. <laughs> no, no, no. Everybody will take the thing is downloading part. All these little things we don't understand. When we look at it, uh, then we can do on our own. See, right? actually, right, D harness, right. If you are taking, uh, I mean, even the advanced, right. Say for example, just you are just you are talking about advanced, right? Without knowing how to install your emulator, if you are learning all the things, when you go to the organization, if you don't know how to install the emulator, what's the point? Get think logical. Mm -hmm. That's why, right? I am saying, right? Always your base will be should be strong. Mm -hmm. I am not sure. I need to discuss. Right? I cannot submit right now. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. As per earlier discussion, again, I'm not sure. Yeah, done. Oh, still is there. Huh? Oh, two more percent. Huh? Mr. Prasad, one, uh, um, one question. Like, how did you learn about all this uh, through some videos or someone taught you? Or how did you get to it? Yeah, actually, like, YouTube? So, yeah. It's done. Then. Yeah. See. You can use your Google uh, wherever, right? You have a lot of resources nowadays. But end of the day, right? How you are practicing, how you are getting that uh, guidance, that's important. Because, right? Say, for example, if you are an experienced guy and you are experienced with uh, already with your manual testing, automation testing, then, right? With the proper guidance, right? Say, say, for example, if you are talking with your guy who is working with the mobile application testing, he will guide you how to go, right? With that kind of uh, little guidance and with your uh, R and D, you can do that. Google, fine. Yeah, fine. It's done. Now here, right? Uh, now, now, right? I wanted to tell you one thing. Right? Everyone is talking. Uh, right now, everyone is talking how to open the emulator. Right? How to open the emulator means right. Now you can open the emulator. In the SDK manager itself, because when you are talking about the uh, Android SDK, it will not install Eclipse by default. So what will happen is, if you want to open your uh, emulator, you can open from the SDK manager itself. However, if you install your uh, Eclipse, then you can see a AVD. Just now we saw right. Jaisi, uh, you can show that AVD manager by that time. Uh, how do I go there? Same thing. Just close it and then uh, open your uh, this what do you call two uh, SDK. Yeah, it's here. You want me to open again? Double click and open. Yeah, double click. Just I wanted to show you right, right. That means what? Uh, not SDK. Go to inside of SDK. No, no close it. See, that means right. You can open your. Uh, Emulator in two ways. One thing is, if you did not install your Eclipse, then what you can do is so you can open SDK manager that I will show later. Once you install your Eclipse, then go to SDK. If you install Eclipse, I'm talking. Go to SDK, second one, second folder. Double click on it. Now you can see SDK AVD manager. That means you can open your emulator with the help of AVD manager. Double click on it. So this is one way. That means if you install your Eclipse, you can open your AVD manager with the help of Eclipse. If not Eclipse, I will come back. Wait. Now you can open. Close this. This is if Eclipse is available. Close it. If I did not install my Eclipse and I just installed my SDK manager, go back and open your SDK manager. Okay, fine. So now here also from uh, SDK manager also, what you can do is you can open your AVD manager. Eclipse is nothing but it's an editor, like where you can write your scripts and all. Okay, that is uh, for development perspective, fine. Go to tools, right, you can see menu. Yeah. Go to tools. Mm -hmm. Go to tools. Top, top, top. You can see menu, 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 menu. 
go to tools yes yeah. there you can see your avd from here also manage manage avd first one first option so you so can click. open your yeah just single click is enough that means you can open your avd manager or you can open your uh, this one avd manager from the sdk also this is if you did not install your eclipse this is the way right hope your everyone is clear now from this you can create your emulator whichever you want whichever the one you want how to create it new yeah click on new click on new click on new okay give some name whatever you want new name here new password right device device that means what kind of device you wanted to imitate it you want to emulate it what do you want add pure devices okay select one uh, good device okay. select the device which one okay now select the target now target right target what will happen here target will come whatever the packages you have selected i selected only 4.3 and 4.4 that's the reason you can see only two targets however if you install all the packages then you can see all the targets here right now select 4.3 don't go with 4.4 because uh, even i don't know 4.4 how it was now but here right you can see how to install all the packages like oh, just which button select yeah select all uh, right what will happen now uh, when you open your sdk manager you can see here hey, here you can see right you can see the check boxes you can select all the check box install the package that's it which check boxes hardware keyboard person displays no 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 just now i showed you sdk manager right just now you can sdk manager you can see in the back end yeah there is it showing you can see here it will not go i don't i don't think it will go mm-hmm. it will not go you can yes, see yes. here back yes here yes back. all see 1.5 1.6 everything you can select it will not oh. allow me sorry <laughs> yeah. okay yeah, below fine. that below yeah. that window, below that window. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah, this but one. This is, one. This is it. Yeah. So, yeah. Suman, so target is nothing but what kind of device you want to, what kind of version you want to emulate. Okay, fine. Give the target like 4.3 or 4.4, whatever. Give the target. Question. Uh, in reality, does uh, the network uh, administrator install all this, or do we have to install it? As a tester, we have to do. Oh, we have okay. to. Oh. Yeah, obviously, right. Uh, see, emulator, who will do? Who is the job of emulator, right? Okay, fine. Uh, like right now, you can see here. Now you can keyboard also. You can get like right skin. Right in the skin, right. If you want to see some hardware controls, you can select it. Now front camera is not required. Not required. Not required. Now fine. Here, right here, you are getting a warning here. You can see one warning here. On Windows, emulating RAM. right greater than this one right it is given some issue so right you can create it but you cannot install it for that what you can do is you can create a sd card here this and all basics only okay you can create some sd card how to create sd card just uh, fastly right open your command prompt open your command prompt Is it open? Open. Yeah. What is it? Uh, command prompt. Uh, yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Your uh, command prompt. Uh, what do you call? Command prompt. Like go to all programs and then enter CMD, run CMD, type CMD. Thank. Like go to command prompt. I don't see it. I just have to go back again, closing everything. No, no. Go to uh, start programs. Run. No, go to start. Well, stop. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Oh. If I touch anything, one thing will go off. Okay. Windows icon. And go start. Right, you can go to yeah, Windows icon. That is nothing but your start. Windows, Windows icon. Yeah, I got it. So what do I do? Uh, Windows. Click on Windows icon. Yes. Windows and then run. Uh, where is your command prompt here? Oh. Yeah, actually, right. I don't. 
actually i cannot take the control here it is not allowing me it is yes, not allowing the control that's the problem corner and you will see search button where you can click cmd it is uh, yeah, i clicked on uh, windows i did yeah but go, go to the right hand corner it is windows 8 right mm. yeah go to the right hand corner and you will uh, get all the five symbols like search all that like very yeah, what really. where do, okay anybody is having windows 7 ready lee I don't see. Windows. Where you see the date and number? Yeah, you. You just press Windows plus R button on the keyboard. Yeah, Windows okay, R. Windows right. and R. Okay, yeah. I did. Side by side both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Now you can CMD. CMD click. Yeah, CMD. Enter CMD and click. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. Now, now here, right? Change the directory. That means, right? Uh, check that uh, path of your SDK SDK path here first. Go to that folder. Check that SDK path. You now that uh, where you install. Just minimize this. Right. The, this, this is not okay. This is fine. Leave it. This is leave it. Go to that SDK path. Where is your SDK? So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them. on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 777 this is a united states number if you're calling from the uk call us at 020 337 you can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys@gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.